Hello friends, welcome to Awesome Civil Engineering channel. Today we are going to discuss about curing of concrete. When the concrete slab, column, beams, brickworks, etc. are done during construction and it and it should be watered. Watered due, watered to remove the loss of moisture from the concrete or mortar. Mortar for the proper bonding between the cement and bricks cement and bricks aggregates and aggregates and cement sand etc first of all what do you mean by curing curing is the process of preventing loss of moisture from the concrete or mortar curing it should be done for minimum 7 days for 43 by 53 grade of cement 10 days for the blended cement recommended to continue for 14 days it will give the better result flowing are the procedure that should be followed during curing of concrete or mortar number one pcc sprinkling of water number second for footing should be covered by wet gunny bags or jute bags jute bags and by sprinkle of water on it for columns same as footing covered by gunny bag or jute bags and water is sprinkle on the on the surface of column for the plinth beams plinth beams these are also done as same as footing and column now for slab and beams for slab water ponding is done for slab the water ponding is done after casting the slabs minimum 2 inches depth of water ponding and minimum size of 6 by 6 between the bonds in done making a square or rectangular boundary of square or rectangular boundary to store water for beam beam should be covered with wet gunny bags and water is sprinkled on it after but never forget after desoldering of the slab the sprinkle of water from the bottom side is also done it will give more better results for the bonding of concrete brick works the water is sprinkled over the bricks by pipes or sprinkles internal and external plaster intermediate intermediate sprinkle of water by pipes waterproofing waterproofing water waterproofing the curing of waterproofing is done by ponding ponding same as slab tilling for tile works sprinkle of water on the tiles by the pipes or by the pipes or the use of sprinkles for external paintings before painting sprinkle of water is done and after after painting a small amount of sprinkle of water is done on the to get better result thanks for watching guys Please do like, subscribe and comment to my channel.